Hi everybody, welcome back to reconvert. This is Eric and in today's video I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about the reconvert post purchase offer editor. When you create an empty offer, this is what it looks like. I'm going to go through some of the parts here to explain everything you need to know. So the top part will display your store name, order number, confirmation message, and a link to the order confirmation page, AKA the thank you page. This part is designed by Shopify and we have no way to design it in any way. Below that, you can see the reconvert post purchase one click offer. If customers click the pay now button, they will pay right away. And this item will be added to their order without them having to re-enter the credit card details. Now everything here is customizable and created by reconvert. At the top left section you can see the offer name. To learn more about the offer editor you can click the help video button which I'm guessing you already did. On the right section you can change your preview from desktop to mobile view to see what your offer looks like on mobile. I'm gonna get it back to desktop for now. And of course you have a save button here that is currently disabled because we didn't change anything. Let's start by giving our offer a name and let's call it my first offer. As you can see, the offer name changes at the top left corner of the screen. It's important to mention that this is an internal name. Your customers will not see this name anywhere. The next step would be an offer title. Now let's say that I want to offer 20% off this specific product only if the customer purchase it right then and there. As you can see, the customization options here are kind of limited because we don't have full control over the design of this page. You can also choose to display the title either below or above the product upsell. I'm gonna keep it above because I think it looks better. Let's move on to product options. I'm going to close the title section and I'm going to click the product options section. The first option in this section is what product to display. You can either choose a specific product. When you do that, you have an option to select the product. It's important to mention that if you select a specific product, all the product details and preview will load up right here so you can see exactly what it's going to look like on your store. But you also have some other options which are dynamic options and in that case you will just see some skeleton data. Some other options you have are display the cheapest product in the order, display product recommended by Shopify. This option does not require any further integration. You can also use our partners Recomatic, Rebuy, Personalized Recommendations and Wider so that if you have any of these apps installed you can use their AI algorithm to display smart recommendations based on the recommendations. And you can also display the most expensive product in the order. I'm just gonna keep the most expensive product in the order for the sake of the example. The next option would be exclusion tags. Exclusion tags allow you to exclude some products from being displayed as your post-purchase upsell offer. Let's say that you have a product with very thin margins and you can't afford to offer 20% off for that product. So you can check this box and pick a tag that all the products that are tagged with these tags will not be displayed as the post-purchase offer. So let's say by clicking comma, I'm gonna be able to add this tag. So now all products that are tagged with no upsell will not be displayed as the post-purchase offer. Now, in case you've added exclusion tags, you can also choose what happens in case the the product selected actually contains the exclusion tag. So you can choose to either display an alternative product or just skip the offer. If you choose an alternative product, you can select any product from your store. It's important to mention that this product will be displayed anyway. Now I'm just gonna uncheck this exclusion tags option. Now let's talk about the upsell layout. There are two different options, either an extra large layout or a large layout. This is what a large layout would look like. It's important to mention that on mobile only large layout is available. I'm gonna get it back to extra large layout because I think it looks better on desktop because customers can see more details about the offer. Next, product title. If you keep it empty, it's just going to display the product title, but you can also customize it as much as you like. I'm just gonna keep it the same. Now, as for product description, you can check this box to display product description. Now, it's important to mention that if you're using a dynamic options, you'll need to pick a description that will fit all products. Something like this would be great option to add to your order. But if you select a specific product, like I'm showing in this example, you can actually import the product description. Now, it's important to mention the reason we're not allowing to import all the product descriptions for dynamic products is because we are limited by Shopify to only display simple text. We're not allowed to customize it further than the options we have here. So I'm just going to click the import description here and you can see it's now brought to my product and it looks great and I can further customize it from here. For the sake of the example, I'm just going to go back to display a dynamic product and 
then I'm just going to hide the product description. Next step would be to choose which product to display. You can either choose the main product image by default or you can display a custom image and upload an image as the product main image. Next option would be what to do with secondary images. You can either display a slideshow. Again, the design for these areas is kind of limited and we do what we can with the options Shopify provide or you can just hide the secondary images. I'm just gonna keep it as a slideshow. Next, you can customize here the sold out text, subtotal text, taxes text, and total text. You can also disable the option for customers to buy more than one product. So you can disable quantity picker. I'm just gonna enable that for that. And if it's enabled, you can also choose the quantity text. I'm gonna keep it as quantity. You can also disable variant selections. And if disabled, it's just going to display the first variant of the product on Shopify. I'm just gonna keep it enabled for now. The last option would be to either hide or unhide the vendor. For now, I'm just gonna keep it hidden. So we're done with product options. I'm going to close this section and move on to the discount and shipping options. You can choose to either don't add any discount. For the sake of the example, I'm going to add a discount. You can customize the discount text for the offer summary section. Then you can choose to either add a percentage discount, fixed amount per unit sold, which means that if the customer takes more than one item, he will get the discount for all of the items or fixed amount for the entire order, which means that if it takes more than one quantity, you will still get the discount only once. I'm just gonna keep it as a percentage for now. And let's just change it to 20% to meet our actual title. Now, you also have an option to only apply this discount for products that are more than X amount of dollars. So for example, if you want to provide this discount only for products that are more than $100, you can do that. I'm just gonna keep it empty for now. The next step would be shipping. You can either offer free shipping, flat rate shipping, or rates managed by Shopify. It's important to mention that this will not support any third-party calculated rates. And if we're not getting any rates from Shopify, you can define a fallback shipping rate. This will be a flat rate. I'm just gonna keep it as free shipping for now. And then you can also control the shipping text for the offer summary. Now, as for the displayed price, we have three options to display. First would be the product compared to price as displayed on Shopify. You can control the size and you can control whether or not to display this price. The second option would be the actual product price on Shopify. Again, you can choose either to display it or hide it. I'm just going to hide it. And the third option would be the final price, including the discount. So I'm just going to keep it here and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so they can see the final price. Now I'm just going to close this discount and shipping option. Moving on to the timer section. This section again is optional you can disable the timer. But if you do add a timer, there are some additional options here for you. First, the timer text, as you can see in here. You can choose when to display the timer. You can do it once per order or once per customer, which means if the customer will purchase again, he will not see the timer for the second time. I'm just gonna keep it as once per order. The duration of the timer, by default, it's five minutes. I'm just gonna keep it this way. Next, you have the position of the timer. You can display it above the widget, below the widget, above the button, or below the button. I'm just gonna keep it above the widget because I think that's a great location. And then the text position, you can choose to display it above the timer, left to the timer, right to the timer, or below the timer. I'm just gonna keep it to left to the timer. I think it saves some space and looks better. Next is the text next to the days, hours, minutes, and seconds. I'm just gonna keep it empty because if it's empty, it just looks a little bit better to my opinion. So I'm just gonna keep it this way. Next, expiry settings. Decide what to do when the timer runs out. By default, it's set to do nothing, but you have the option to remove the discount once the timer expires, or you can just move to the next offer. It can be either the thank you page or the next post purchase upsell. I'm just gonna change it to move to the next offer option. Next, timer expired message. You can customize it however you want. I'm just gonna keep it the same and you can use the preview expired offer button to see the expired offer. I'm gonna get back to preview live offer. The final section would be buttons. This is where you can control the text on your accept and decline offers. We have no control over the design of these buttons. By default, it's set to pay now and decline upsell offer. I'm just gonna keep it the same. It's important to mention that every changes made on the offer editor will not be saved unless you hit the save button. So I'm just gonna hit the save button. Great. So this is it. You now know everything you need to know about the reconvert post-purchase offer editor. If you have any questions, make sure to comment them in the comment section below or just reach out to our live chat support at the bottom right corner of the screen. We're available 24 seven for you. Thank you for watching and good luck with reconvert.